you got that flexibility as well. So standard equipment flow gate. <clears throat> you have your auger tilt. And then, of course, you have your standard equipment tip spout on the top as well. So not only do you have the adjustability of the corner auger pivot, but as well as the adjustability of that tip spout on the top as well. Okay, all standard equipment. So five remotes. Or you have the option of a joystick control. Okay, this gets you down to two remotes. One remote does your auger fold. Your second remote, when put into the constant position, runs four functions off of this remote. Okay, so what we're going to have Phil help me out is we're going to have him fold the auger in and out to show you the fold sequence. Just how this auger folds back in. There is plenty of clearance, don't worry, nothing's going to come crashing down on you. Okay, I will warn this table, it does get a little close over here, but we won't hit you. We won't hit you, okay? Yep, I <laughs> picked the best seat, you betcha. You betcha. So as this comes over, you can see it's going to tuck itself back into the cart. Kind of like a bird tucking its wing behind itself, okay? <clears throat> keeps it nice in tight against the cart. Of course, keeps your transport width narrow, okay? Of course, it comes back out, pivots up and towards tractor cab to give you that increased visibility out of the tractor seat. <clears throat> so again, own separate remote for the fold sequence. Once it gets all the way over, over the top. Okay, so we're in position. We now detent your second remote and now we just get to play video games. I mean, we get to use the stick to do all of your control, okay? So we have your auger on and off, on buttons. We have our auger on and our auger off on push buttons to engage your horizontal auger, okay? We have our flow gate on the trigger on the bottom. So we push away and it opens it. We pull it towards us and it shuts, which you can see on that indicator on the top. So one is closed. We hold it open and that's max open. Okay. We have two rocker switches on the joystick as well. So we have one that does our auger pivot. And we can stop it in any position. It's our full travel down, two foot of height, two foot of reach difference. You can say we can stop it in any position. You can see how it pivots on the front side of the tub there, again, independent of the tub. And then, of course, our tip spout at the top for even more flow control on the other switch, which gives us the ability to again adjust the flow or to really fine tune the grain flow into the semi truck. Okay, so two remotes can run five functions. Put that joystick, of course, in the left hand side. You're turning around, looking right out the window to your grain stream and fine tune everything without having to realize or remember which remote is what, which direction it needs to flow. Especially handy when, of course, you have several guys running the cart. It tells them exactly what it's going to do right on the joystick. Okay, so a nice feature. After we go through lunch, we'll have or give you guys an opportunity to come up, play around with it, see how it operates, see how it feels to you as well. So we'll give you guys that chance after we go through uh, our lunch and in between tours, etc. We'll give you a chance to come up here and, and play with that joystick. Okay. So, a lot of flexibility, again, setting the standard in the industry, keeping with innovation to not only give us a corner auger cart, keep it a dual auger system, but then give that max flexibility and max adjustability to help fine tune. And of course, the name of the game with the grain cart is to increase the harvesting efficiency 
quicker you can unload, quicker you get back to the combine, the more acres you get covered in a day. And time is money. Efficiency is important. And with that flexibility of auger pivot, tip spout, definitely increase your capacity. Okay. So what about options? What else can we get on, on the grain cart? Of course, we have the optional tarp with a manual roll or electric control like this cart's equipped with. Of course, we have optional cameras as well. Two cameras in the system, one mounted right by the light underneath the vertical auger, and then, of course, one on the back for road travel. Keep it safe going down the road. <clears throat> of course, optional scales and two different uh, scale head options. Talks about that in your literature as well, depending on how much information or what style of information you want to keep. And then, of course, joystick control is an option as well. Okay, Several different undercarriage and tire options. See many of you guys looking through your handouts that you got when you walked in. So we got several tire options depending on model size and cart size. Okay, So again, we're setting, setting the standard for high efficiency grain carts. We have the corner auger cart. 